Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, it's Tom over here with the Freak Show. <laughs> we are uh, working on another Thermaking unit and uh, it's a C600 precedent. It's uh, throwing a code 89 code. Now that is the only code it's throwing. So if it was throwing like a 21 along with that, that would mean low refrigerant pressure. So that would probably just be low refrigerant somewhere and it's, you got a leak going on. So you need to find that and fix it. However, if you're not throwing a 21 and you're only throwing a code 89, um, that is the electronic throttling valve. So what this valve does is it kind of limits the Freon, all right, whenever it's coming back down in order to uh, slow the process uh, of cooling, all right? So it, it kind of maintains it and slows it down instead of freezing to a freezing point, etc. So when it throws that code, usually, uh, you know, it could be a harness issue. Um, I would first check, pull the, uh, the uh, connector apart, um, clean it out, see if it's got uh, some dielectric grease in it and whatnot. Um, if it still maintains to throw that code after you do all these things, you're going to have to replace the valve. So I'm going to show you where that valve is and uh, how to do it. All right, guys. So I got the uh, side door of the reefer unit open over here. Now, this right here, sometimes they'll be over here, depending on what configuration it is. Um, they could be over here by the compressor um, and, and different places. You just kind of look, got to look for it. It's got four wires that come out of it. And it's got uh, four Torx bits that hold this thing on. So this is the electronic throttling valve. So go ahead and remove your connector, pull out your four bolts, and then you can uh, swap this thing over. Now you do need to pull the Freon out of this before you pull that valve or it's gonna go everywhere. Um, so um, pull the Freon down and then pull your valve off, put it back up, run your Freon back in it, and then uh, you'll be good to go. So. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this and get it knocked out, but uh, just a basic demonstration of how it operates and uh, what you'll be looking for. So remember, um, code 89 only would just be the valve itself. Now, if it has a code 21 with that, it's gonna throw the code 89 valve because there's no Freon in the system. So it's not able to limit the Freon, all right? So, cause there's no uh, Freon to limit. So. Um, make sure you don't have code 21. If you do, you need to inspect your unit for leaks somewhere and fix that issue. Um, and then uh, once that issue is fixed and you put Freon in it, the code 89 is gonna go away. Um, but yeah, code 89 only, go ahead and replace your throttle valve. Also check your connector. I've checked it, everything looks good and it's still throwing the code on this. So we're gonna go ahead and get this replaced and get moving on to the next one. Again, guys, if you're checking out the page, please like and subscribe. Give me some comments in there, anything that I can do better. And I uh, can't help, wait to help you out with the next one. How long, gay boys? <laughs>